hey it's your girl kooky kiani and today we're doing instacart y'all <laughs> I got my first order it's only for two items and it's two miles away i forgot how much it's supposed to be but i think it was like nine dollars or something like that so let's go in here real quick get it done so we can get on to the next order and we're at kroger so we about to get we about to get inside here and get out and i know this one so we should be quick it took me a little longer in the store than, I, than it should have because it only took me a minute and a half to find both items and get in line but then it took like 10 minutes to even get checked out because the cashier was having that bag and ring people out so it was taking way longer but yeah nine dollars less than 30 minutes excuse me now I'm waiting for another order, but I might go to um, a different city or like the other cities that I used to Instacart in because I know they should have orders or I'm figuring they should have orders. But for sometimes the orders don't start coming in until later on. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so Okay, so it's the next day. Um it started raining yesterday, so Instacart got cut short. And I was supposed to go back out, but I didn't. So, here we are waiting, hoping to get a batch or anything. I scheduled to dash to DoorDash um 2:30 2 2:30 30, 2 30 to um no um 2 30 to 6 30 or something like that over here probably shouldn't have did that long but i want to make sure that i you know what i'm saying i'm on the schedule so i can get some money because i need some money today but right now i'm sitting here waiting for there to be a good batch like the first batch that i just seen just came up right now they want seven dollars they want me to do two batches it's only seven dollars it say two houses 14 items but it's 57 units like i'm not about to go in there and pick up 57 things for seven dollars oh that's gone maybe somebody else picked that But, uh, yeah, we're waiting. Hopefully, we get some good batches. I really think I should go to a different city. But now that I scheduled myself to DoorDash in like an hour, I might just sit over here for an hour. If nothing comes up. And then just start DoorDashing. But we gonna see. But I'll come back when I get a dash. I mean, when I get an Instacart order. Damn, I don't even know which one I'm doing at this point. <laughs> I'll come back if I get an order. Okay, so we got my first order of the day. It's for two items at Sam's Club. It's $9. Sam's Club is five minutes away from where I'm at right now. So I'm about to hurry up and get over there, get the items, and get them delivered. It's like two miles away from the store, I think. I don't even know. But let's hurry up and go get it. Okay, y'all. It's a whole different day. Of course. Y'all see, I look different again. I forgot to record some of my orders. Who knows what this video is even going to be. But right now, we got an order for 13 for like 15 something dollars. And we're about to go drop it off. It was for nine items. And we're about to head that way. It's seven minutes away from the Kroger that I'm at right now. I'm about to go drop this shit off. And then hopefully get another decent order. 
or two, three, I don't even know, a couple of more orders. And we'll be doing good. But let's hit the road and go drop this shit off so I can get on to the next order. But these people got a whole like list of what I got to do. I got to take this stuff inside and walk somewhere and turn somewhere. I'm like, these hoes want too much. I should have put their food in my um, insulated bags. I'll do it when I get there so therefore I can cut, um, carry this stuff easier. Because who the fuck they think about to carry all this? But all right. <sighs> okay, so. Oh, stand up. Okay, so I finished that order. I finished that order. I made fifteen thirty. It took me a little bit under an hour to get it done. Literally, just like fifty nine minutes. Because once I ended up getting the stuff, getting out the store, getting to um, the place where it was, it was a um, a retirement home, whatever. I go in there. I pull up to the gate. They give me a code. The code is not working. I try to call the person on their box. It's not working, y'all. So I sat there for like 10 minutes going, messaging the woman back and forth. Like, I'm here. I'm at the right place, but I cannot get in. Then a woman pulls up behind me and uh, I seen her waiting there. So I ended up getting out the car and walking up to her. And I'm like, hi, excuse me. Do you live here? And I'm like, I'm trying to deliver an Instacart order, but I can't get in the gate. So she ends up giving me her keys with her card on it. And I scan myself in and run and give her her keys back real quick and hurry up and pull in so I can park. And then once I get it, get there, I have to go inside the building. She told me to just press, you know, the handicap button and it'll open. But when I get over there, y'all, you can't get in. You need a card to scan to get in. Just like you needed to get in the gate. So then these women who were sitting out on the bench, I started talking to them. I'm like, um, I'm trying to deliver this Instacart order, but I can't get in the building. And one of the women gets up off the bench and she scans me in. So then I end up going inside and delivering the orders. And the woman's like apologizing to me and stuff about how I can't how I couldn't get in because they just put that system in like those boxes and the boxes and stuff that they're using this is a new thing like usually i should have been able to just put the code in and pull right in and then when i got to the door i should have been able to just hit the button and get inside but um because of that because of the system they had in the security whatever you want to call it i could not get in there so it made it made it way longer than it should have been like literally it took me nine minutes to get her items in the store to find them waiting in the um line was probably like 10 15 minutes and then dropping it off it was only seven minutes away y'all like it should have been done quickly it should have took me 30 minutes tops honestly but uh, yeah it wore me out i'm tired it's hot it was supposed to be getting cooler, but y'all, it's getting hotter. It doesn't make any sense. I checked the weather before I came outside, and I'm dressed like it's the fall or something. It's hot. I'm hot. And I've gone to like four different stores, y'all, because I've been looking for some glue and hand warmers, but they don't have the hand warmers anywhere. Anywhere. And I'm about to take my ass back home, like. I'm through. Plus, I don't like to use the bathroom in public, and I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm about to go home. About to go home. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I should have included some of the other orders that I did, because I did do some DoorDash the other day, but I didn't record it. Not that I remember. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to go get a nine to five because it's just not as lucrative here to do DoorDash or Instacart and stuff as it is in Florida. Like in Florida, there's no shortage of Instacart orders. There's no shortage of fucking DoorDash. You can do DoorDash all day. 
all night. You can do DoorDash at 3 o'clock in the morning. But not here. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Too many dead spots here. Um, annoying. But yeah, let me cut this off because I'm getting hot sitting in here recording. Because I turned the AC off because it makes too much noise. And we don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that when I'm editing it. So I know y'all don't want to listen to it when y'all watching it. But yeah. Okay, so this video did not turn out how I expected it to be. Because I kept forgetting to record. <laughs> But I'm going to stop wasting my footage. So y'all, y'all getting it. Y'all seeing it. Okay. But um, I love you guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.